Ministers from over 41 countries in Africa, development partners and other education stakeholders have converged in Chigali, Rwanda, for a three-day conference on the quality of education. Across the region, governments are grappling with the problem of low funding to the education sector, which translates into poor teachers' remuneration in unconducive learning environments. Four to six percent of the GDP of each country, that will boost education for all throughout life in all our different countries in Africa. We will definitely get there. If you look at countries like Latin America, which have made tremendous progress, yet they are developing countries, you'll find that the difference, the major difference is that they've invested heavily in education. In Uganda, teachers have in the past two years increasingly become very vocal in their demands, which include better pay. This message will be communicated to the appointing authority, who is the president, who is the architect of all education programs in Uganda, and I am very convinced that you will believe in the message. However, the General Secretary of Uganda National Teachers Union, James Tuihayo, disagrees with the minister. There is no need in the first place for the minister to consult the president. Instead, they should take the budget to the president to explain why it should be in this case. They should be in a position to defend it. <laughs> the 2014 primary leaving exams results show that at least 585,000 pupils sat. Hundreds of other pupils, however, dropped out before completing their primary education. Some reports indicate that about 31 million children in Africa have no access to education, while others drop out at an early stage due to different challenges. But for the Ugandan case, most of the children, especially in primary schools in rural areas who drop out of school, lack a hot meal during the day because parents cannot afford. And as a result, it becomes very hard for them to keep their seats warm during school days. In areas where children uh, have a bigger challenge, that, that their parents cannot take care of, like the areas of Karamoja, the school feeding programs are being implemented by government. It's first of all to ensure that in our system there is accountability, that the money that is going to schools, uh, there is as little leakage as possible. The education ministers are being courted to turn around the quality of education. However, other stakeholders are suspicious of their involvement very well that uh, what position might be pushed might not be representative enough to give what picture is on the ground. At the end of the day, the ministers take political responsibility. Nearly four years ago, a report on basic numeracy and literacy skills of primary school children in Uganda found that primary six pupils in the schools surveyed could not comprehend material meant for primary three. Worldwide, up to 250 million children are not learning basic skills even though half of them have spent at least four years in school. Sudil Biarhanga, NTV, Chigali.